Hi folks and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to fix the time difference between Windows and Linux when dual booted. So without any other further ado, let's get started. Okay, so firstly, why does this happen? Well, this happens because every computer has a system clock and it's powered by the CMOS battery. Now, the difference in time becomes because of each operating system's way of storing that time into the system clock and reading it. Linux stores the time at GMT0 at Greenwich and then calculates it with the time zone that you have set into the settings and then displays it to the screen. And also, every time you have access to the internet, it will sync that clock and update the system clock. So that's why Linux will always show the correct time. Windows, on the other hand, it just stores the local time to the system clock, and when it boots, it just assumes that, that time is correct and reads it and displays it to the screen without updating it. So that's why Windows shows the incorrect time, because Linux just wrote into the system clock the time at GMT0, and then when, when Windows boots up, it will just assume that that time is correct and it's your local time and display it to the screen. The way to fix it is to make either one of the operating system to use the other's system, to use the other's way of storing the time. Now, it's easier to make Linux store the local time into the BIOS than to make Windows to store the GMT time into the BIOS. And this in Linux is done just with this command into the terminal. Time date CTL, set local RTC1, adjust the system clock. And now it's done. Now, if you do whatever and whenever want to revert the setting and to make Linux use again, the GMT time, uh, you just have to paste in the same command again and replace the 1 with 0. And that will make Linux use back the GMT time into the settings. Now, I'm not going to do that because I do want my clocks synced. So, this is it. This is how you fix the time difference. So, yeah, guys. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, drop a like. If you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button and see you next time on How Do IT.